Welcome back everybody, this is Always back with another video. Today's video is for those people who are struggling or want to know what is the easiest way to get a job as a developer. So if you are that person, then you are in the right place. I'm going to cover all the core technologies and some extra technologies which are going to make you confident about applying a developer job. A lot of people don't realize and confuse about how much they have to learn before they can even apply for a job. So let's talk about all those core technologies you need to learn to become a front-end web developer. Before we start our video, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing and like if you do like a video and dislike if you dislike the video. And uh, yeah, and make sure you join our Facebook group for programmers and follow me on Twitter. So without further ado, let's get started. The first technology we need to learn is HTML. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. HTML is a computer language device to allow website creation. These websites can then be viewed by anyone connected to internet. It is relatively easy to learn with the basics being accessible to the most people in one sitting and quite powerful what it allows you to create. So it's one of the core technologies that you have to master to become a front end job ready. And I would say you will be kind of master in like a week if you spend two hours a day on HTML. Now the next technology is CSS. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. CSS is a style language used for describing and presentation of a written document in markup language. Although most often used to set the visual style of the web page and user interface written in HTML and XHTML. The language can be applied to any XML document as well including plain XML, SVG and XUL and it's applicable to render in speech or on other media. Along with HTML and JavaScript, CSS is a core technology used by most websites to create a visual engaging user interface for web application and it is used to create a user interface for many mobile applications nowadays as well. Now the next technology you need to learn is the JavaScript, JS for short. JavaScript is a high-level, dynamic, untyped, object-based, and interpreted programming language. Alongside HTML and CSS, JavaScript is one of the three core technologies of the World Wide Web content production. It is used to make web pages interactive and provide online programs including video games. The majority of websites, pretty much I think all of the websites need JavaScript and all modern web browsers support it without the need for plugin. By means of a built-in JavaScript engine, each of many JavaScript engine represents a different implementation of JavaScript, all based on ECMA script specification, with some engine not supporting the specs fully, but with some engines supporting additional features beyond ECMA. JavaScript support event-driven, functional, object-oriented, and prototype-based programming style. It has an API for working with text, arrays, dates, regular expressions, and basic manipulation of DOM, but does not include any I.O. such as networking, storage, or graphics facility, relying on these upon host environment on which is embedded. Initially only implemented client-side web browser, JavaScript engines are now embedded in many other host softwares including server-side, in web servers and database, and in non-web programs such as word processing and PDF softwares and in, even in a runtime environment that makes JavaScript available for writing mobile and desktop applications including desktop widgets. Now at this point you have learned the core technologies for front-end web and I can say you are ready for applying a job as a front-end but nowadays many companies require few extra technologies which are going to help you to be more productive for example, if you are going to style a web page and design a web page from scratch, it could take a lot of time, therefore companies require you to know some frameworks. So frameworks are basically a pre-written code by someone for you to use and instead of writing your own code, you can simply link that code to your web project and then just use the functionality provided in those frameworks. So now we are going to take a look at most used and most popular framework for front-end developer roles. So the first framework we need to learn is a bootstrap. So Bootstrap is a free open source front-end web framework for designing website and web application. It contains HTML, CSS-based design, uh, template for prototyping, 
forms, buttons, navigation and other interface component as well as optional JavaScript extension as well. So unlike many web frameworks, it concerns itself with front-end development only. The next most famous JavaScript framework is jQuery. jQuery is a fast, small and feature-rich JavaScript library and it makes things like HTML document traversal and manipulation, event handling, animation and Ajax much simpler with an ease to use API that works across a multitude of browsers. So with a combination of versatility and extensibility, jQuery has changed the way that millions of people write JavaScript nowadays. So the next technology we have is an Ajax. Well, Ajax is not a programming language or a tool, but a concept. Ajax is a client-side script that communicates to and from a server or a website without the need for postback or complete page refresh. The best definition I have read for Ajax is the method of exchanging data with a server and updating parts of website without reloading the entire page. While Ajax itself is mostly a generic term for various JavaScript techniques used to connect to a web server dynamically without necessarily loading multiple pages. And in more narrowly defined sense, it refers to a use of XML HTTP request objects to interact with web servers dynamically via JavaScript. Now, next thing we need to learn and it is required to get a front-end web developer role is a Git. Git is a control system like version control system, short for VCS, for tracking changes in computer files and coordinating work on those files among multiple people. It is primarily used for source code management in software development, but it can be used to keep track of changes in any set of files. As a distribution distributed version control system, it is aimed at speed, data integrity, data integrity and support for distributing non-linear workflow. Now these are the few JavaScript frameworks to consider learning if you want to stand out in a competition. First we have an AngularJS. AngularJS is a structured framework for dynamic web apps. It lets you use HTML as your template language and lets you extend HTML syntax to express your application component clearly and uh, AngularJS data binding and dependence injection eliminates much of the code you would otherwise have to write. And it happens all within the browser, making it appealing, ideal partner with any server technology. So the next framework we have is React. React is, uh, is open source JavaScript library for building user interface and React allows developer to create large web application that use data which can change over time without reloading the page. Now if you look at the job description on any marketplace, uh, you will find Angular and uh, React are required for becoming a front-end developer because these two technologies are pretty hot right now in the market. So if you learn the core technologies and you uh, complete some of the framework, for example, Angular and React, so you will get a job because uh, to to learn all these technologies, uh, there are, it's gonna take a bit of time, at least two months to start from the scratch and then be a job ready. And then I will suggest you guys to look at other JavaScript frameworks as well. For example, underscore JS, Fabric for working on a canvas. So there are like millions of frameworks available for JavaScript, so you can try them out. But if you look at the job description, uh, these core technologies are required, plus some of the major frameworks, Angular or React, and jQuery is required as well. And then you need to know a little bit of Node.js, but that is a backend technology. But if you know the Node.js, that makes you a full stack developer. And one more thing before ending this video, I want to mention that if you look at the job descriptions, you might find like 40 technologies are required or 50 technologies are required. You don't have to worry about those technologies because once you learn the core technologies, HTML, CSS and JavaScript, and then you learn jQuery and you learn a bootstrap type of framework, then you are able to apply for jobs. They, I mean, if you look at the job description, there are no one, there is no one 
even I know a lot of like really good programmers been in industry for like more than 20 years they still don't cover all those technologies what are required in job description so you need to ignore the job description because no one can learn all those technologies right there's too much out there so you learn all these technologies and just ignore the description I mean just read a little bit but ignore the description of all those technologies that required and start applying the job so once you apply the job you will go and they will ask you some questions and the most interview questions are mostly technical based not about the have you learned angular how to define uh, data binding in angular they're not gonna ask you these questions they're gonna ask you questions in interview like probably solving a problem that's these kind of thing you need to focus on so I would highly recommend once you learn these few technologies what I've covered in this video you better go and start applying for jobs and hope for the best so yeah that's about it guys for this video and I hope you liked this video and if you did please subscribe to the channel and join our Facebook group for programmers because a lot of programmers we have in that group which can help you to solve your questions regarding any programming and yeah follow me on twitter yeah if you want to i'll post a bit of uh, coding up there yeah so that's about it guys thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next video chase